in the 80s, I guess the late 80s is when I really got involved in, in paying attention and, and, and getting involved in meetings and listening to what was going on. And uh, it was very problematic for the people of Tucson, the contamination was. And uh, then uh, I was working at a social service agency at the time, and uh, I attended a lot of the meetings uh, at El Pueblo Neighborhood Center regarding this issue of the water contamination. EPA was in town at that time, and a lot of the uh, responsible parties were joining in meetings there at El Pueblo. And so my husband, uh, Abe, and I started attending uh, those particular meetings, which were very interesting at the time and quite educational. We would just sit there and listen to what was going on. There were a lot of technical uh, conversations which we didn't really understand a lot of acronyms that we had never heard, but we learned later what they stood for. And uh, it was, a, like I said, a, a time of, of uh, time to get a, a time for involvement when we did. And we became part of the TCE sub, subcommittee, and that was spearheaded by Lorraine Lee at that time. And uh, she brought in people from the local government, city and county, and uh, then state at, at some point in time, and uh, community. Uh, community was very important, and the, the meetings were well attended by a lot of community that were uh, trying to uh, express the way they felt and express they did. There's uh, a lot of uh, contention at the table, you might say, and and uh, we, we because we were getting to know each other, the government and the community, we wanted them to hear about our problems, and we wanted them to understand what it is that we wanted them to do for this community, which was uh, at that time, you know, find out why the illnesses were happening, um, find out why what was the um, reason the water was polluted to that extent. As you know, the parts per billion are 0.5 parts per billion, and they were way up in the 1,200 and more in some instances in, in some areas on the south side of parts per billion of TCE. And uh, people claim that their health was impacted, and, and rightfully so. And there was a lot of uh, anger and uh, questions and things like that. So that's that was the beginning of the involvement on our part from the TC subcommittee. Um, they uh, the the subcommittee uh, brought a lot of information, and uh, uh, that was our way of learning through them what what the issues were, and. Not only did they talk about it, but they acted on some of those uh, problems by um, encouraging the responsible parties to talk about it along with the community. And then the state uh, ADEQ, Arizona Department of Environmental Quality, uh, came in. And, and then they suggested that perhaps uh, other agencies having to do with environment show up. And uh, I'm trying to remember so many, so many uh, components of, of the subcommittee that were brought in by them. And uh, it, it's hard to recall, but I'm, I'm going to do my best to really give you the, really give you an, uh, the history of what I know. Just that I need a little time to remember. Oh, um, the, um, ATSDR was also involved, and uh, they brought in a person to come in and do a study, which was always inc inconclusive and never really um, stressed the fact that TC TCE and health problems were connected. 
there was no conclusive conclusion conclusion on that point. And uh, it was very frustrating to the community that, that we didn't have answers. So then um, later on, um, the TC subcommittee uh, was stepped aside and the uh, Unified Community Advisory Board came in, the UCAB. And, and uh, we, Abe, myself and my husband Abe uh, participated 